That's Coach 1266. I'll tell you what we're going to do today. We are going to drive the coach and talk about the top five things you guys like about driving the Prevo chassis. I think we should head inside, but I wanted to show you the exterior of this coach. Also, look at that, the updated X3. There's another shell. Isn't that pretty? It kind of looks cool just as a shell. And once again, we've got the co-host with us, Dave Bash, so let's head on inside. Coach 1266, a beautiful 2018. It's for sale, we're gonna drive it. Come on in, Dave. that off so we can hear. So I'm going to tell you guys, uh, last night I went on the Prevo Owners Group and um, asked everybody on the Prevo Owners Group on Facebook, hey, you know, basically I said, I need everybody's help. Let me know what your top five things or your top things are about driving uh, the Prevo chassis or driving a marathon. Here we are in a marathon, of course. But um, I wanted to read some of these because I got a lot of great feedback and I really appreciate everybody on the uh, Prevo Owners Group uh, on Facebook. I know there's a, a website version and a Facebook version, but um, Trenton Putnam says, feeling the safety of it being in the road and a, the attention they draw. That's a big thing. You know, a lot of, a lot of people, when they see the Prevo, uh, they, they know what comes with that. And that it's definitely an attention drawer. Um, very stable on the road. That came from Connie Williams. Uh, Nick Flanders, my top three. The power, the ride, and 50,000 pounds of confidence. And Armand's going to show you around, Coach 1266, while I read some of these. With the slides in. With the slides in. Yeah, thank you, Dave. Um, Jonathan Paul said, perceived safety for my family. Durability and reliability and 18-wheelers don't blow us sideways. For some people, that's very important. It is. Um, let's see, what else we have in here? Mike McNear, uh, there's, a, there's a Prevo owner who drives his coach a lot. In one word, safety, absolutely. It's probably at the top of everyone's list of why they do it, um, why they wanna get into a Prevo. Uh, Eric Gerloff, driving a Prevo or a Marathon Prevo, assuming a Marathon has, uh, there will be no rattles and trim pieces falling off. Uh, smooth ride, quiet, awesome turn radius, very easy to drive, great parts availability and service, especially for older coaches. That is a great comment because we're seeing a lot of people update coaches, buying a coach uh, with good bones, like my man Murray Seleski, who also commented on this, buying a coach with good bones and then updating it or reimagining it. Um, and. Uh, one thing that he says that I really like about that is the turning radius. Uh, and we'll, we'll show you the turning radius before we leave the parking lot with this beautiful coach. Uh, let's see. There's Murray Seleski. Uh, when it's on the road, it handles with ease and is extremely maneuverable, allowing us to get our bus into places and people, uh, places that people would never believe until we get there. Um, yeah. Gosh, there's so many comments. I, I really appreciate Gil Johnson. Uh, a lot of you guys know Gil Johnson, and I really ap appreciate Gil showing up on this thread and giving his input. Uh, feeling of safety, comfort of the ride, feeling of control, and knowing Prevo is there if you need them. That's a big thing. Prevo service centers all over the US, and of course, Marathon has three centers, Florida, Texas, and the mothership here in Oregon. And I want you guys, while you're watching today to comment with your top items. What are your top items about driving the Prevo? Uh, Mickey, do we have a question before we drive this guy? Well, we have a lot of great comments, but I have to tell you Rodney's favorite thing about driving a marathon. Uh, now. Oh, thank you, Rodney. Rodney Lehman is a very experienced driver, so I appreciate him weighing in last night uh, on this thread and this morning. Um, let's see here, what else we got? Paul Lott makes a makes a point that I that affects me. Yeah, having a classic car, I love just looking at it. 
Um, and Paul Lott says, sometimes I just like going to my shop and looking at it. <laughs> and then he put a picture on there of his beautiful coach. Uh, absolutely. Allison, Gary Nelson, uh, a couple that we know quite well uh, as marathon owners. Uh, hi, Mal, for me. And for those of you who know Gary, he's extremely tall. Um, it's Marathon's ability to make the driver's seat fit very tall drivers. After that is done, all the other nice features begin to count. So Gary is alluding to our custom ability, making it a custom coach for a man of his size, uh, ve being very tall. How tall is Gary? Six, He's like seven, six, 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 nine? Or six, seven, something. He's pretty tall. He's pretty tall. Um, and then this more, uh, two minutes ago, according to this, probably about 15 minutes ago, Angela Rhodes says, it's the easiest coach for women to drive. I've driven lots of buses. Nothing compares to a Prevo. Comfortable, beautiful, and the safest on the road. The common thread in this thread is the safety. I, th I say we drive this. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. I know you're on the phones today as tech support, so you're doing double duty. Let's uh, strap up and, and drive this guy. So let me know where you're watching from, everybody. I'm going to turn my phone off. Thank you so much to everybody for all of your comments and contributing. Prevo Owners Group on Facebook. Lots of great information on there. If you have not gone on there and liked uh, that page on Facebook, I think you should do so. Okay, I've checked my mirrors. I've checked around the coach for safety and I am seat belted in. Foot on the brake. I'm gonna pop that off and go drive. We have a question for Dave. A question for Dave. Let's do it. Shoot. Does he approve of the new X3 upgrade? The question is, does Dave approve of the neck of the <laughs> who asked that question? Yeah, okay, so Ron is asking if Dave approves <laughs> of the new X3 update. And I'm gonna, t I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you the turning radius right here. Armand, watch this. I'm going to- Tag axle up. Tag axle up. Now, Dave, talk to me about the tag axle. What's the importance of, of bringing it up? Well, it help you turn just a little bit tighter if you're in a really tight spot. Okay. But if you're going slow and turning really sharp- Which I'm gonna do. The pivot point is the drive wheels. Absolutely. So you'd be pretty much dragging the, the tag wheel sideways and, and rubbing more tread off than you need to. Yep. So it's just a, a little help. It's like you're going sideways. Turns pretty sharp. Turns pretty sharp. Take a look at that. There's that new X3 that Ron's asking. Dave, do you approve of the new chassis? I like it. It's still a Prevo and it's still got great features on it. Absolutely. Now, as you guys can see, there's your, there's your turning radius example. I am doing what I consider a sideways drive. Dave, doesn't it feel like we're moving sideways here? It's turning pretty sharp. It's turning very sharp. We demoed the sharpness in, a, in an episode a long time ago. It, uh, when we got tor went towards the building and then turned away from it. Absolutely. It, yeah, it turns really sharp. Absolutely. Very maneuverable. Okay. so. Um, I know Dave is, is working the phones today because he is on tech support, but um, we're going to go out here on the street and just down the block and back. But I, wanna, I wanted everybody to uh, join us this morning and talk about our top five things or our top things about driving um, the Prevo chassis or a marathon. Dave, you do a lot of driving. You've driven a lot of coaches, not just a a marathon build, but you've you've driven a lot of conversions uh, in your 20 years with marathon, moving coaches around the country. Mm -hmm. um, you're very very experienced at driving. That being said, tell us what are your top things, and it, it, whether it be technical or enjoyment uh, enjoyable things. What what do you and what does what makes the Prevo experience special to you? Well, both of those things come into play because and agreeing with most all your comments of the the viewers that you got here it one of the things is, that's first noticeable is how quiet and smooth it is it's one of the quietest motorhomes you can come across and I think you guys can get for, for those of you who have not been in a Prevo and some of you may not have been but 
um, you can tell, even though we're, we're wearing microphones, it's a very quiet drive here in Coach 1266. And by the way, H3 double slide, 2018 coach for sale. Uh, this is a beautiful coach. But I'm, I'm just telling you right now, we, we're able to have a normal conversation where in a lot of RVs, you're not. Is that correct, Dave? Yeah, yeah. That's You get a lot of wind noise or shakes, rattles, squeaks. Don't hear any of that here. Yeah. So Dave, let's go. Let's go. Let's uh, let's put you to the. Let's put you on the record. Give me <laughs> give me some give me some of your things when you're on the road, and you're driving, and you do a lot of it. What what are the things that help you enjoy the experience of driving a marathon? Well, again, going back to every, all the comments, everybody commented, and I agree with everything. It, it's smooth, quiet. It's it feels solid. Yeah. And another thing, one of your comments was that it's heavy enough that when your truck, you pass a truck or a truck passes you, they don't blow you off the road. Yes. It's, it's very, very stable. And so it's easy to control. And I don't know what I could add to what everybody else has said. Dave, talk about drive fatigue because you get behind the wheel and you know, you have a certain amount of hours that you can do uh, yeah. before taking a break. But Dave, tell tell us about how um, the the ease the ease of driving one of these really helps you to if you need to put in five hours, if you need to put in six hours on the road or more. Uh, tell me about how the Prevo chassis helps you from that standpoint. The driving ease of this. Well. As far as fatigue, I'm not having to counter steer all the time. It goes straight down the road, okay. doesn't pull to one side or the other. Right. And there's no play in the steering wheel. I mean, very, very, very minimal. Sure. I mean, it's really easy to steer and control. So as far as fatigue goes, I'm not having to very fight. Very little. Yeah, there's very little. So you can drive for long amounts if you need to. And for those of you who don't know, we're driving into the small town of Coburg which is right uh which is right where marathon's headquarters is located and has been located uh since 1994. this is a a great little area um so if you if you join us at the uh at the world headquarters you'll you're able to experience the antique shops and the great restaurants can't you see the sign it says go to the left for cobra pizza oh my goodness i know murray says no stopping for coffee at nana's cafe murray <laughs> You know, he knows the hot spots up here. He knows Nana's Cafe is the place to go for uh, uh, pastries and for coffee. Mal, do you have a moment to um, address a comment? Yes, I do. So we have Craig who says the new X3 style seems smaller inside. Yeah. Well, it's not. I, I'll tell Craig what he should do. He should stop by for a tour. <laughs> Craig says it. Craig says the new uh, X3 seems to be smaller. Well, we're going to turn on to Mill Street here in Coburg. Craig, Craig should stop by and take a tour. I'll show you around, Craig. It's not smaller. It's the same size. Yeah, it's the same size. In fact, see the uh, ceiling height overall is is taller. A little bit taller inside. Yeah. So my favorite things about driving, and I don't do nearly as much as Dave does or as some of you owners that are watching this morning or commented last night, as I'm gonna turn right here. And avoid those tree branches. Avoid those tree branches, watch this you guys. Turning radius, don't you love that? <laughs> Thank you, Dave. So I'm gonna tell you right now, uh, what has blown me away, fairly new to the industry, and what a, what a uh, I'll say what a pleasure, but what an honor to be able to drive the finest RV in the history of the world. I know I've said that before, you guys, uh, but it, quite frankly, it really, really is here as I stop. Um, the ease of driving this H3 through these narrow streets of Coburg, Oregon, it's really easy to drive. And I, had, I have had some training, thanks to Dave Bash, and. Uh, it's just, it's really a, a fun experience. It's easy to drive. It is quite comfortable. Um, 
and I do feel very, very safe when I'm driving a marathon, but that's because I pride myself on operating the coach safe and I'm also willing to listen and take tips and training from drivers that are more experienced than I. Dave, what do you think about this, uh, that comment? The, very little the, sway. Very I mean, little sway is absolutely right. I have right. been in some 75 mile an hour crosswinds that at that point, it blows you around a little bit, but it's still very, very easy to handle. So uh, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't uh, move a whole lot. Yeah, it's a very comfortable ride. I know we're not out on the freeway and we're not gonna do that today, but uh, the ease of driving on the freeways is, is pretty incredible. Um, Dave, you do a lot of freeway driving, whether it be I-5, whether it be I-10. 40 or 80. 40 or 80. Tell us about driving the freeways uh, and getting up to speed, holding speed, uh, the ease of, of that. Well, it's just... It's just part of it. It's very easy. <laughs> yeah, I know we're being kind <laughs> of repetitive not, here. There's not a whole lot more to say. It's just yeah, very even for we've had a couple comments from women on here, and you get, you got lots yeah, of, women drivers. Yeah, we got lots of uh, women that drive these all over the place, and it's a testimony with them commenting that some some couples the women the woman does all the driving. Uh, it's just, and I've got a course here back at the shop that I teach women how to drive and what to look for and what to to avoid. And Mickey's gone through that course with me. And uh, if anybody wants, if any of the women out there want to learn how to drive and get a little more confident, come Ab see us. Absolutely. We can do it. So, um... For those of you who are interested in getting behind the wheel or experiencing it from a, a, a riding standpoint, because there's, there's really an experience to riding in a marathon. Uh, if you're in the Southern California area or you wanna, you wanna get there and drive it, every Thursday we're doing Test Drive Thursday. Um, but the best way to get a hold of a Test Drive Thursday down in the Indio area is email me at malw at marathoncoach.com. I'll put you in touch with uh, Jim Cogley if I'm not down there, or I will let you know where we're gonna be set up for the um, for the test drives. I'm gonna pull right back into Marathon here. Or you can stop by any of our locations, Florida, Texas, or here at the uh, mothership, as we like to call it, also known as the world headquarters. We have daily tours. In fact, I'm doing tour duty this week, 1130 every day here at the plant. Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday. Thank you, Dave. Or you can stop by Florida. You can go see Randy and Dawn. You can go see Casey Hess. If you're in Texas, stop by and see uh, Dennis McBride. And you can do a tour and you can test drive one of these coaches. Also, I like the air tilt. Yeah, That's kind of a cool uh, feature that uh, I had to get used to uh, instead of you know fumbling for a, a tilt wheel lock. Anyway, everybody, uh, big thanks to all of you for contributing to Marathon Mondays and helping with, uh, let me put the GPS down because that's kind of nifty, for contributing, uh, whether it be on the Prevo Owners Group on Facebook last night or today with your comments. Big thanks to Dave Bash, uh, arguably the most experienced driver on the West Coast, if not the nation. Um, feel free to be yourself and do good things. That's what I'm doing. And email me at malw at marathoncoach.com. We'll see you next Monday. I'll be back down in Indio, California in a couple of weeks. And uh, let's test drive a, a Prevo chassis. Uh, Marathon builds a beautiful bus on this chassis. So let's get into one. Take care, everybody.